my name is Chris Libertine and today I'm going to show you how to crochet a mini mouse cup cozy and this video is in collaboration with myself because I have a Disney focused channel here on YouTube as well so if you are a big Disney fan and love watching Disney videos in general please subscribe to my second channel it will be linked in the description box below but if you love crochet more than anything, please subscribe to this channel because this channel is all about crochet and I'm sure you will love it. Lastly, I just wanted to let you know that I have also created a tutorial on how to make a Mickey Mouse cup cozy just in case you also wanted to make Mickey as well as Minnie. So after this video, you can go ahead and watch that one and make these couples cozies. The link to the Mickey Mouse tutorial will be in the description box below as well. Alrighty then, let's get started with the mini mouse crochet cup cozy tutorial for this project i'm using 100 acrylic yarn from the brand red heart in black and dark red and they are both size four i'm also using white and red felt and a five millimeter hook other things that you'll need for this project include scissors glue and possibly a sewing needle and thread and i think that's it but anyway, the first step is to grab your black yarn and make a slip knot, then chain 40 chains. Now, if you are unfamiliar with what a slip knot is or a chain and are just new to crochet in general, I do have a crochet for beginners video that I will link in the description box below so you can go ahead and watch that, practice with it for a bit, and then possibly come back to this tutorial or try out any of my other easier beginner friendly tutorials. So after you have chained your 40 chains, you're going to go back on that chain with a single crochet and a single crochet is putting your hook through the stitch, then yarning over, then bringing it back through the stitch, yarning over one more time, and then bringing your hook through the last two loops left on your hook, and that is a single crochet. But again, if you are new to crochet or are a bit rusty, I do have that crocheting for beginners video that will be linked in the description box below for you to try out, especially because I'm using black yarn right now and it's really hard to see what I'm doing uh, if you are new to crochet. But in the crochet for beginners video, I use a much brighter color so you're able to see the stitches better. Just putting that out there for you if you're struggling. But yeah, you're just going to go uh, uh, finish this row of single crochet and once you reach the very end, make sure that you go into the very last stitch and once you do, you're going to grab the other end of the row and bring it to the end that you're at right now <laughs> and you're going to slip stitch the two ends together and that's how you're going to make this project round as opposed to um, a horizontal row as a normal project would be. So now it's going to be a circular project and this is what the project should look like after you've attached the two ends using a slip stitch and after you've attached the two ends you're just going to continue on making single crochets as you normally would if this were a horizontal um, project but instead of going back and forth on the rows, you're just going to go around and around and the marking of where your rows begin and end are right there where you attached the two ends together. So I'm going to go all around with a single crochet and once I have reached the point where I attached the two rows, that's when I know I finished one row. So just a couple more stitches, one, two, and voila, I have finished my very first row uh, using the circular pattern. And I'm just going to continue making more and more rows of single crochet going around and around until I've completed about 10 rows of single crochet. So it's a good two inches thick. And of course, you can make your cozy any size that you want. I decided to make it the size of an average uh, Starbucks cup, but if you want to make it bigger or smaller, it's totally up to you. So I decided to make the black portion of this project a little less than two inches wide, actually. I think it's more like an inch and a half. Um, again, about 10 rows of single crochet. 
And after I have finished my 10 rows of center crochet, I'm going to attach my second color, which is red. And the way I attach it is a little bit different than you may attach different colors, but all I do is put the new color on the hook as if it were the normal color, and then I just crochet using that color um, instead of the normal color I was already using. So in other words, instead of putting the black yarn on top of the hook and continuing single crochet, I put the red yarn on top of the hook and then just continued like normal. And that's how I attach it. And then I detach the black yarn later. And I haven't had any issues with any of my projects unraveling, so I really like this method. But you could always just um, cut the yarn from the yarn ball and then attach the red and the black together using um, a knot. That's what I used to do before, but I figured it was a little too messy, so then I picked up this method. And again, it works for me, but do whatever works for you and attach the new color. So now you're just going to continue with single crocheting all around um, as you normally would, just with red instead of black. And right here I have finished my first row of red, and this is what it looks like. And you're actually going to only make a couple rows of single crochet using the red because we're going to start doing something special to make the ruffly portion of Minnie Mouse's skirt. And to be honest, I am quite proud of the way that the skirt came out because when I was coming up with the design for Minnie Mouse, I definitely wanted her to be different than the Mickey Mouse Cup Cozy that I made. And I figured that if I make it the exact same way, but just add a bow and dots, that it was going to be kind of lame. So I was working hard to figure out how to make this skirt frilly, and I finally found a method that works, and it's actually quite easy to make. So yes, I'm just going to pat myself on the back really fast for that one. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so you're only going to make about four rows of single crochet as normal, and then we're going to start getting to work on making the ruffly portion of the skirt. Now, to make the ruffly portion of the skirt, all you're really going to do is increase the number of stitches per row, and to do that, instead of just making one single crochet per stitch, you're going to make two single crochets per stitch. And then in the next stitch, you're going to make one, and then the stitch after that, you're going to make two, and then you're going to make one, and then you're going to make two single crochets per stitch, and then you're going to make one single crochet per stitch, and then two per stitch, and so on and so forth for a couple of rows. And you're not going to be able to see much of a difference at first, but once you have a couple of rows of you doing this, you're definitely going to see that the project is going to start to ruffle. And again, I'm just alternating with making two single crochets per stitch, and then one single crochet per stitch, and then two single crochets per stitch, and then one single crochet per stitch, and that's it. That's really it, and that's how you slowly but surely start making ruffles and this is why we needed to start early and we only made a couple rows of normal single crochet because if you start this too late then the ruffles don't have any time to form and you're not really going to see the effect so make sure that you start this early on so the ruffles can start building up and again don't worry if you don't really see the ruffles right away it is going to flare out first and then after you have created more and more rows of this then it's going to really start to ruffle ruffle as you can see here. So just continue making as many rows as you would like um, and once you're happy with the length of the skirt then you're done crocheting the body of the project. Uh, again, so this is how the ruffles turned out. If you would like more ruffles then add more um, stitches per row, but if you like less ruffles, then you do the opposite. Now, if you really liked the design of my Mickey Mouse Cup Cozy, then you would add one more row of yellow onto the bottom of the project, but personally, I liked this um, just black and red design, and I just kept it as this. But again, totally up to you. If you're cup cozy, you can do whatever you want with it. This is just mainly a guideline on how to make one pretty much exactly like mine, but you could customize it any which way you would like. 
So um, after I finished the last stitch, I just detached the yarn from the yarn ball and then it sealed the project so that it wouldn't unravel. And then I cut the excess yarn afterwards. So again, this is the body of the project. So the next step is to make Minnie Mouse's ears. And in order to make Minnie Mouse's ears, you're going to grab your black yarn again and I'm going to cut to my other tutorial now. Making a slip stitch and then chaining three, then going into the very first chain that I made and making a single crochet. Then I had this little cluster of stitches and what I did was stick my hook through the center of that little cluster and made seven single crochets within that same um, circle or same stitch right in the middle and after I've completed the seventh stitch uh, going into that same middle stitch then I built upon those single crochets that I made and went around the circle with some more single crochets going into every stitch and um, just kept building rows and rows of zero crochet on top of each other until I was happy with the size of my circle. And if you're very confused and you can't really see what's going on here because again I'm using black yarn and it's hard to see, I do have another tutorial in which I make circles like this. They are on a larger scale but it'll give you a better understanding of how to make circles in general. But again, all you have to do is chain three, then go into that very first chain with a single crochet, and then find the center stitch within that cluster that you just made, and then make seven single crochets within that center stitch. And then after you've created seven single crochets within that same stitch, you're going to start a new row by single crocheting on top of those single crochet stitches that you made and then you're going to just continue going around and around until you have made a circle that's large enough to uh, serve as Mickey's ear. Alrighty then, now that you're done with both of Minnie's ears, you're going to attach them either with glue, with yarn and your hook, or you're going to attach them like I do and simply use a needle and thread, which I think is the most effective way to attach the ears and it's so much easier. I used to attach everything using my yarn and my hook, but the yarn is just too thick as well as the hook and it just makes everything more complicated. So if you use a needle and thread, it is more discreet and it's so much easier because it goes through the yarn again, way easier than um, your hook and your yarn would go through the stitches. So yeah, totally up to you. I wouldn't recommend gluing the ears on because I feel like they would probably fall off. But again, up to you. If you found this miracle glue that will definitely not come off, then use it. But I use E6000 glue to attach the felt and sometimes it falls off. So again, it's up to you. I'm just warning you. So with the red felt, again, you only really need a little bit because you're only going to cut a little piece of it off to make the bow. And making the bow is actually really easy. All you have to do is cut off a small rectangular portion of the felt. Like this is already too long. I cut way too much off. Um, so even smaller than this little piece that I cut off. And then you're going to squish the center of the little piece and then um, find a way to make it so that the center stays squished. I just decided to use my needle and thread and make a couple of stitches in the center so that again the middle is squished up and it looks like a bow. But you can glue it, you can do other things to it that I can't think of right now, but as long as the center is squished up and the bow is properly proportioned then it looks like an actual bow and I think it's really cute. So once you've made the bow then you could glue it on right in between Minnie's ears or you could sew it on which would probably be best but I just ended up gluing it on because I was already 
two hours into this project, so I just decided to glue it on. And I also needed to cut out all of the little dots for Minnie Mouse's skirt to serve as her iconic polka dots. And I again just glued everything on. <laughs> so much easier, but sometimes the dots and the bow does fall off. Actually, not really the bow, mostly the dots. Most of the dots fall off. So make sure you're not stingy with the glue and you place each dot on there firmly so it can stay. And don't forget to also put dots on the back because it is a round skirt and it will look kind of funny if it was just patterned in the front. So yeah, cut out a bunch of little dots. Possibly use a hole puncher if you have one so you don't have to painstakingly cut out every single circle like I did. And then finally glue on the bow and after you have glued on the bow then you're completely done with the Minnie Mouse Cup Cozy and it looks absolutely adorable and feminine and the perfect match to Mickey or just an adorable Cup Cozy just all by herself because she's a strong independent mouse. But if you do also want to make a Mickey Mouse Cup Cozy, I have the tutorial for it in the description box below. They do look adorable together. You can make couples Cup Cozies. You can make them as gifts. You can make just Mickey Mouse. You can make just Minnie Mouse. Totally up to you. But yeah. That will be linked in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do decide to make this cup cozy and take it out to Disneyland or anywhere really and post a picture of it, be sure to tag me at Crystal Everdeen or at Crystal Everdeen Crochet. That way I can see your creations and yeah. If you are a big Disney fan and love watching Disney videos in general, please subscribe to my second channel which will also be in the description box below. Just check out the description box below. It has everything that you need. <laughs> uh, but yes, please subscribe to my other channel if you love Disney videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also click that red subscribe button if you have not already so I can see you next time. Bye!